So hello and welcome to another tips and tricks clip. In this video I want to show you how we can identify if we have a singularity and how we can prevent singularities within our structural analysis especially for the case of a concentrated load. To begin with I want to explain shortly what are exactly singularities. Singularities occur in a limited area due to concentration of stress dependent result values and this means there are areas or points in our model where the values tend toward an infinite value which causes the high peak stress levels. They are conditioned by the FEA method but in reality such stress concentrations in that amount do not appear. Singularities can occur at concentrated load introductions like we can see it here in this model or point supports at re-entrant corners or if we have for example stiffness jumps. And how we can identify such locations? For that we can have a look at our example. We can see here three surfaces and a point load on each of these surfaces. The only difference is the mesh size which we can set with right click on the surface and then select FE mesh refinement. In this example, we have a bigger mesh at 0.5 to a decreasing mesh size of 0.1. Now using the FE mesh refinement, we can generally identify if there is a singularity. So if the results um, in this area increase with a more and more refined mesh, it's very likely a singularity location. For that, let's have a look at the results. We can get them displayed by clicking on Calculate. And now we can see that there is such a high stress level area for the smaller FE mesh. We can get the stress values displayed on the result values. And for a better comparison, we can also add a new section cut and insert and then we can copy this one for the other two surfaces very quickly. Now what we can do to avoid such singularity effects is for concentrated or line loads we can set a distributed load introduction. With the right click on the load we can convert this load to a surface load and if we have a look at the stress results again we can see a decrease in the stress level. Another option how we can prevent singularities is using the feature called average regions and with that we can smooth the maximum result values. We can find average regions in the project navigator and with the right click we can set a new one. In this dialog we can first type in a description and then select the surface. And we can choose the center point which will be this point here in the middle. Next we can determine which type we want to have depending on which type model we have. For example a rectangle shape and here we can set the dimensions for it. With clicking OK we can see in the results again that the peak is smoothed down to a lower value. And with that said, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can write us in the comments below or you can also visit our website lubal.com.